Alright, good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bata's Bypass. This video is going to be series, well, it's going to be part four of my Eurolock series. And in the final installment of this particular series will be this LOB lock straight from Poland. I believe it's a challenge lock made from my friend. As you can see the key works. That is the bidding on it. Nothing too nasty, but I believe the evil lies within. So let's zoom out to some normal looking stuff. And hopefully pick this guy open. I'm going to use a multi-pick set. And hopefully this guy can stop giving me nightmares. I'm going to go with bottom of the keyway with the fatter of the multi-pick champion tensioners. And let's go with this guy. This is going to be V07. in 0 0.4 thousands. All right, and let's just try to get this guy to cooperate. I'm gonna use light tension. And I'm just gonna feel down the stack. And five is giving me some resistance. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, three gave me a little bit of movement. I'm going to start back at one. Four, back at five. I might have overset him. We'll see. Let's keep going. I'm gonna reset him. Four. I will say without a vice it is rather difficult. I'm not gonna buy a vice yet. Especially with these smaller locks. One, nothing. Two is giving me some stiffness. I know there's one serrated spool pin in here that's just a pain in my ass. Alrighty, I am lost. Let's 
try a standard eye looking hook. Alright, I'm in a false set. I thought this video was done for. That's why I wasn't talking. But. I am in a very deep false set again. Get a light tension for that counter rotation. I think it's pin number one. And we got her open. Awesome. All right, we're at seven minutes almost, so let's try to gut this guy pretty quickly. This guy was giving me some toughness. I wasn't expecting it to get it open. All right, let me put that away. Got my pinning kit. I don't need a screwdriver, but I will need my follower. And possibly a shim. All right, it's got one of these little C-clips, so they're pretty flexible. So we'll just poke him off. C-clip is removed. Let's bend it back and make it look pretty. Alrighty. Due to my last getting job, since I do have the key, and I did pick it open on camera. Well, that's not going to work. Whatever. I think I can just shove it out. Alrighty. Perfect. So the first pin is a standard. Second pin. Oh, yeah, that's the one that was tricky. The second pin's not even a bottom of the key bottom pin at all. It's a standard pin or a freaking serrated. We'll, we'll do a zoom in. Pin number four is also a serrated pin. Get these rearranged. I think they are that way. Yeah, my friend Yabende make some pretty fucked up challenge locks, I'm not going to lie. Alright. Top pin is a mushroom. Second pin is a spool. Third is also a spool. 
The fourth one is a pretty nasty serrated. And just shoot that one out. And pin number five is also a serrated. And I'm pretty sure all the springs are normal. As far as Euro locks go, these things are long. All right, guys, thanks for sticking through me through this Eurolock series. I know some of the videos were painful, but we got through them. So, guys, thank you again for watching this. This was part four of my Euro profile journey. Let's get a nice little view of these pins really quick as you can see number one was standard but two and four are both serrated nastiness and then the top pins are mushroom spool spool serrated and serrated so this was a pretty good challenge lock i enjoyed it it was a tricky pick. So, guys, thank you for watching. We're at 11 minutes 30 seconds. If you liked it, please like. Please do subscribe for future contents and more Eurolock series. And again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.